This is the Gigabyte Aero 14. Now this laptop has impressed me in some ways, but let me down in a few ways as well. So let's get into what I love about this laptop and also what I wish was better about this laptop. So hopefully they'll make some changes in the future or you'll be fine with the things that I don't like. They might be even positives to you. We'll just have to find out. First and foremost, the build quality in this laptop is great. I mean, all aluminum build, put together very nicely and just it feels sturdy. I'm just gonna throw it at you. And I just, it just, man, no big deal. It just. It's like, yeah, I could take that. I could take a little bit of, a little bit of extra love. That cannot be said about a lot of laptops. And really just moving this laptop around, I just don't feel concerned about it. I don't feel like I have to be super delicate with it. Now, obviously I don't wanna abuse it, but I'm just trying to make a point that this feels like one of the sturdiest laptops I've reviewed in quite a while. And even though the top cover is thin, it is very rigid. So it has a great top cover, opens and closes smoothly, has a nice firm hinge, doesn't bounce too much. It's just put together really well. It's one of my favorite laptops in regards to build quality that I have seen this year or even for years past. And not enough people are taking this laptop seriously. Now the trackpad is a beautiful thing. I love the design in the trackpad. If you can see here from the top cam, it actually has arrow written on the trackpad. Uh, the letters for the arrow logo are found on the trackpad, really nice. It is a manual click trackpad, very satisfying, kind of dampened sound. Here's a quick audio sample of me using the keyboard and trackpad so you can hear what they sound like. Now this laptop does have a webcam along the top bezel of the screen and here's a quick sample of it so you can check it out. This is the webcam on the Gigabyte Aero 14 OLED and a little sample of the audio for you as well. In regards to the speakers, here's an audio sample of those so you can hear what the speakers sound like, see if they're right for you. Now, one area that I'm not impressed by this laptop and even during this review has let me down is the battery life. I thought I had this thing fully charged and apparently it was completely out of battery. And one reason might be because you have to plug into this specific port in order to charge the laptop. It says DC in. These two ports on the other side are not going to charge the laptop. I had it plugged in over here and it didn't charge it. So I had to plug it in over here and now during the review, we're gonna have it plugged in for the rest of the time because it is completely out of battery. Now, the battery life on this laptop is five hours and 39 minutes for Passport productivity. That's not good. Five hours and 46 minutes for streaming video playback, two hours and 32 minutes for Photoshop, and an hour and 49 minutes for video editing. And I do everything I can to get the best battery life possible. I'm able to get some battery lives that, that people comment on my channel. They're like, how do you get those battery lives? I just know how to optimize these laptops very well. And even with those tactics, I was not able to get a stellar battery life out of this laptop. One of the biggest reasons being that the Gigabyte um, like command center just doesn't do as much as I would hope. Now, it's not that the options aren't there. When I change these modes, they don't make that big of a difference. They don't actually control the system as much as I've seen in other command centers like the Lenovo Vantage or the Asus Armory Crate, for example. Those are very powerful centers that actually make some strong changes to the system. This control center, I've not been impressed with over the past few years of using these devices. Speaking of the ports, let's go ahead and pick the charger up real quick. We have USB Type-C, micro SD card reader, and a headphone jack. And on the other side, we have two USB type C's. So that is great that they have three USB type C's because you're gonna be charging the device via USB type C and then you still have two open for your use. You also have a micro SD card reader if you wanna expand your storage on this device without having to take the bottom cover off. Speaking of the expandable storage, you can upgrade the SSD that is inside of this laptop. However, you cannot add an additional SSD. So there's only one SSD slot in this system and the RAM is not upgradable. So whatever you purchase this laptop with is what you're going to stay with for the lifetime of the laptop. So those are soldered to the motherboard. Now, speaking of things that correlate with the battery life, let's talk about this panel. It is a really solid panel. That's one of the highlights of this laptop. It's a glossy OLED display that reaches 529 nits of brightness at a 100% sRGB, 97% Adobe RGB, and 99% DCI-P3, all at a Delta E of 1.79. So you have that nice below 
2. And basically what a below 2 delta E means is the reproduction of the colors on the screen are accurate as to like the certified Pantone settings. So you know you have really good color accurate images on your display. Now the weight and thickness of this laptop is another thing I'm very impressed by. Just over three pounds and just over a half an inch thick. It's thin and on the go friendly. However, it's not super light. Like I said, it's just over three pounds, but it feels sturdy. It doesn't feel so featherweight that you're like, is this thing even gonna be durable? Oh, and I forgot two ports on the back. We have HDMI and USB type A, forgive me. Forgot about those hidden ones on the back. Now the ventilation on this laptop is great. We have two vents there on the back side panel and one big large vent on the bottom, which actually is a complete vent. A lot of times these vents are like covered in certain places. Gigabyte didn't do that. They're making sure their system vents very well by having this completely open. Now let's go ahead and get into the performance benchmark so we can see what this laptop is capable of. Now they do have this system in more than an RTX 4050. I have the i7 13700H RTX 4050 and 16 gig model that you can find on bestbuy.com and other retailers. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability, I'll put links in the description. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. Now jumping into the simulated benchmarks, this laptop is not the most impressive when it comes to simulated benchmarks. However, as we move into the real world benchmarks, you can see that this laptop at the price point it's at is great performance. You can see in Photoshop that we have an 858, a solid score inside of Photoshop amongst its other i7 13700H processors. Now, looking at After Effects, this is where it's gonna lag behind a little bit at a 742. I like to see laptops at around 800 if we're gonna be like gung-ho, killer After Effects laptop, but a 742 is still solid. You're still gonna be able to use After Effects. You might see a little bit of slowdown here and there, but overall it'll do the job. Now where I'm most impressed with this laptop is going to be with the 4K video editing export time. One of the best 4K video editing export times I've seen on my channel all year at two minutes and 19 seconds. Absolutely fantastic. Now looking at drop frames, the drop frames are still really solid. With 6K B-Raw, only 335 drop frames. There is an RTX 4080 laptop that I've reviewed recently, the ThinkPad P1, that had just barely better drop frames than that. So this laptop is killing it for 6K playback. Uh, about 1,412 for 6K red footage uh, as well. So this laptop is no slouch for video editing. And that's why, for me, I said there's some things that I love, and there's also some things that I don't like too much about this laptop. This is definitely an area that I love about this laptop. Great performance and at a great price point. Now, 21 minutes and seven seconds is a good export time. It's not earth shattering, it's not record setting, but it's right in that median for great performing laptops. And as you can see, it's beating out some RTX 4070 laptops, right? You have the Samsung Galaxy Book Ultra at 21 minutes and 38 seconds. You have the Lenovo Legion Slim 7 at 21 minutes and 33 seconds. So, I mean, it's not like blowing those away, but it is doing very well in competition with those laptops. So this little thing packs a nice little punch. Now, for those of you using DaVinci Resolve, five minutes and 12 seconds for the DaVinci Resolve export time, right aligned with other laptops that are performing on par with great laptop performance in 2023. Now, something that blew my mind about this laptop while we're raving about the performance, 1080p export out of Premiere Pro in 37 seconds. That's a nine minute clip placed into Premiere Pro and then exported out at full quality 1080p settings. 37 seconds, absolutely insane. So this is one of the best performing laptops for Photoshop with the RTX 4050. It's really blowing me away. It's really optimized for video editing. And so if you're considering this laptop for video editing, it's definitely gonna be a top pick for me. If you're considering it for 3D modeling, it's good. Let's go over those benchmarks real quick before we finish up here on the video. If you look at Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, PTC Creo, and even SolidWorks, though these are on the bottom end of the chart, these would be at the mid range of most charts in 2022. Just keep that in mind. We are putting this laptop up against RTX 4070s, and those laptops are far more optimized for things like 3D modeling. So keep in mind that this laptop still has good performance inside of Photoshop, 
but it's just not as impressive as what we're seeing coming out of this laptop for video editing. If you're looking for a really well-built laptop with great video editing performance, a really nice keyboard layout, great trackpad, a glossy, color accurate, and bright screen, then man, this laptop is a great option for you. Link in the description if you're ready to make a purchase or click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your buying decision. I'll see you in the next one.